Hello everyone, my name is Gautam, founder of uh, Social Enterprise f for Tech, working towards uh, digital empowerment. In this video, I'm going to explain you about one of the trending things in today's digital world, POS, free and open source software. So what is POS? I'll give you five seconds to make a guess. If you made the guess right, as free and open source software. Congratulations. If not, congratulations because you have learned something new today. The free and open source software is based on the ideology learn, develop, and deploy. So, what FOSS provides? So, in general, FOSS provides three S's. The first S refers to serve, it provides full freedom to use the software to meet one's own requirements. Unlike closed proprietary softwares, in FOSS you don't have restrictions like uh, when you get a home edition software, it should be used only for personal use, not for commercial. Next S yes, refers to study. So this FOSS software provides full freedom to study the software and modify it if you are technically sound. And the third S refers to share. FOSS software provides full freedom to redistribute the modified and original versions of the software. The only criteria is if you are sharing the modified version of the software, you should not claim the copyrights. The next is FOSS concept. There will be a general assumption that FOSS softwares are completely free, but that's not the case. The term free in FOSS doesn't mean no cost. It refers to the absence of any constraints to use the software. You can use the software for any, any purpose, anywhere, without any restrictions. So in general, there are four freedoms. They are to use the software for any purpose, to use to study the software. You can modify the software according to your own wish and will. You can also redistribute the original and modified versions of the software any number of times. But the only criteria is that you are not supposed to claim copyright for any of these products. Next, how the force is developed? Who owns it? So it's a community or a group initiative where multiple users work as core developers. Users share their technical and functional knowledge to build a product that addresses a solution in the society or a, or a end user problem. It's a collaborative development. The software bugs are kept visible to the people so the user know what, what to expect out of these for softwares. Since the transparency is high and the community support is amazing, there will be fast and easy bug fixing. So what is it in for the students? Why the FOSS is recommended for students? Because when students are good with these FOSS softwares, they'll be able to reuse, modify, integrate and build software depending on the existing systems. Also, they can customize and modify the functionality of the software as per the user requirements. It's like you can modify the software to work in a old hardware. You don't have to upgrade your hardware in order to use the latest versions. This can save a lots of money and give competitive advantage to the organization where the, the students are going to work and also uh, a unique uh, advantage for these students to get uh, good job opportunities in the market. So these are the very popular uh, FOSS projects. You can see Firefox out there and at the top left we have Drupal and uh, top uh, left bottom we have WordPress. So these are very uh, uh, popular uh, FOSS projects but they are very few. If you Google it, you'll be able to find lots and lots of projects coming up. So with that, with that, uh, I'm ending the first video of uh, FOSS video series. Uh, more to come soon. Uh, if you have any questions or doubts, please use the comment section 
also if you find the videos are useful do like and uh, subscribe to the channel thank you